Well, for regular viewers, you're probably sick of seeing this starting 11 now because you'll have already seen the Latura Martinez review and the Bauer review that are up on the channel. But um, yeah, now we're going to focus on the left winger, which is, of course, Eden Hazard. Now, he currently doesn't have a great record. That's because he's been kind of just moved out the way um, in games, but not in this video. We're going to be focusing heavily on this Hazard item. Um, in game, we're going to play um, with him as a left winger, as a left forward, as a cam, and also as a striker. I've already been using him a bunch as a cam, so uh, yeah, we do have a basis to go off. Anyway, before we continue and get into this player review, if you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be great. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I know that most of you watching aren't subscribed because I can see it in the YouTube data, so uh, hit that red button, please. It'll help me out a lot. And uh, of course, be active in the comment section down below too. Let me know your thoughts on this card, and also let me know which other players I should review. Anyway, let's talk about Eden Hazard. Four star, four star, very good to see on a winger, as is the high medium wear crates. Finesse shot, flair, and outside the foot shot, nice traits to have for a winger. In terms of in game attributes, there is plenty of dark greens, plenty to discuss. Pace column looks very, very nice, and both of his pace attributes are actually maxed out when using the Hunter Chem start, which is nice. In fact, no, that's terrible math. His acceleration is maxed out, his sprint speed is not quite there, but still very, very quick. Um, shooting, very, very nice once more. Good attack position of 85, nice finishing of 82 for a winger, and nice shot power also of 82. Both of them attributes, in fact, all three of them are going to be boosted to by the Chem style. The passing looks very good, um, short passing of 85, long passing of 81, which definitely does suggest that this guy can play the cam role to a good level, and I've already used him as a cam, he certainly can uh, play that role very well. And the dribbling department is definitely the highlight of the stats, 92 agility, 93 bounce, 91 ball control, and 93 in-game dribbling, and on top of that, 90 composure, elite stats, top, top tier stats in that column. Physically, he's looking alright, good stamina of 82, alright strength of 63, pretty average aggression of 54, nothing too much to discuss in that department. Overall though, the card, as you would expect for an 88 overall, looks very, very good. Let's now get into some games and let's try him out. Let's focus on Hazard and let's see what he has to offer. Here we go then, who are we facing? This is what we are facing. We're actually up against the Daibawa, we're up against the Mertens and Insigne and also my opponent has a pretty quick backline as well, which features Manolas with an anchor chem style, which he definitely doesn't need with his pace. With Quadrado, nice. Can we whip the ball in? We can, good ball! Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. He's got around his man. Hazard, puts the ball across the box. Oh, and still we can't convert. Ball's pinged down the wing, and now here's an opportunity. It's Hazard up against Manolas, who obviously is a very, very quick centre back, but Hazard puts it into the box, and there's a chance, and there's a goal. The baller pokes it home. Great delivery from the Belgian, and a tidy finish from the Argentinian. Nice. Hazard in behind now. Here is an opportunity. Oh, Quadrado is in hot pursuit. Hazard! Oh! Valverde puts the ball over the top. Hazard in pursuit. Hazard in pursuit. Hazard in pursuit. Oh, Hazard! Finish the shot! Oh, he did well to get on the end of it, but I was hoping to get a queen connection. Didn't come, unfortunately. Bit of panic shooting there, though. Right before half time, we conceded. Yeah, not happy with that. Hopefully, we can get it back in the second half. Hazard. In space. He's been given a lot of space here. Shoots across goal, and there's three. And finally, we have some breathing room in this game. Look at that. Referee will have full time now. Thank you. And there is a 3 2 victory. Tough game, that one. Tough, tough game. Our next opponent has this team to offer. Alex Teixeira is up front, and I've had, I haven't used him yet, but I've had very good things about him, so be interesting to see how we come up against him. He's also got um, a bunch of OP players in there, with like, the likes of Rodrigo come to mind, and Alan's obviously very good. Don't know if I'd cast him as overpowered this year. He's just very, very good, and obviously costs quite a bit, so uh, yeah, probably not overpowered. Just I think he's on side. Ball's whipped in. Hazard, 1-0. You know, to whip the ball into the box. He does exactly that. And Latura Martinez doesn't quite get the right connection on it. This has had. Oh, it's a flick up. And it's in. That's a great power shot. My opponent bit on the flick up, committed his player forward, moved out of position, and Hazard in the end just walks into that gap and then pings the ball into the back of net. And my opponent has just rage quit. So uh, that was over pretty quickly. 
So, after a few more outings with Deceiving Hazard Card, what's the verdict on the item? Well, first of all, just let me address the record. Obviously, it doesn't look too brilliant, but you have got to remember in the early games, he was just getting played like out of position pretty much. I was uh, using him just to fill a spot while I was focusing on other players. In the later games, when I focused on Hazard, we obviously got much more out of him. So, uh, let's just clear that up right there. Overall, a good item. I enjoyed using it. He's fun to use. He's very quick, good on the break, and his dribbling, I thought, was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. If you are good at the RB slash R1 dribbling, you will get more out of this item than I did because, yeah, his ball control and dribbling and agility, they are all top, top class. His passing is also to a very good standard. You could certainly use this guy as a cam if you wanted to. In fact, you could use him in pretty much any attacking position. Left wing, right wing, wide cam, uh, central cam, centre forward striker. He can definitely play all of those roles. I definitely think he's better suited to be a winger. But um, if you want to play him in those other roles, he can certainly do a job in them. Loved his passing. He he's a very good distributor and he probably should have picked up more assists for me. It's just a shame um, he didn't. His shooting, I think, is to a good standard. I don't think it's top class, but it's good. Um, I like cutting in off the left and then finessing off his right foot. That was a very effective tactic with this guy. And uh, I liked his positioning too. He made some really, really good runs for me and got in behind regularly, which made him quite easy to use. Negatively, though, physically, I don't think he's ultimately that great. He's one of them players who can just be very easily nudged off the ball and just dispossessed rather easily. Now, to his credit, he's got very good balance and rarely goes to ground unless he's fouled, but even the weaker fullbacks, the weaker centre-backs, once they got hold of this Hazard card, they did find it relatively easy to dispossess him of the ball. So if you're going to use this guy, you've got to use that dribbling to the best of your ability to avoid would-be defenders, because if they get hold of him, they probably will um, find a way to dispossess him or at least um, have an effect on his end product. So uh, something to note there. Overall, though, this is a very good card, but I don't think it's quite as good as the overall rating suggests, unfortunately. Um, if I'm being honest, in a straight comparison between the two left-wingers, I think Player of the Month Ansu Fati is a more effective card in Ultimate Team than this 88-rated uh, Eden Hazard. But um, yeah, like I keep saying, good card, but ultimately just maybe not quite as good as the overall rating suggests, unfortunately. Maybe if he gets a few special cards, um, he'll feel much better in-game, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there are quite a few better wingers in the game than him this year in FIFA. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 88 rated, 88 rated Hazard. Sorry. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like rating on it. If you've tried this guy, let me know your experience in the comments below. Also, tell me which other players you want me to do a video on. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.